All right, hello my geometry kiddos. Mr. Allen here again, gonna do uh, our chapter nine, section three notes, which is covering composite figures. Uh, so we're finding the area. They're still dealing with area, finding the area of composite figures. And so what is a composite figure? Composite figure is made up of triangles, rectangles, trapezoids, circles, and other basic polygons. So it's some figure that's made up by multiple other figures, basically is the way to see that. And so the best way to find the area of those is to find the areas of the things we know, right? If you look at this example here, we have this triangle on top. And then we have this rectangle on the bottom. Again, you guys have these notes hopefully printed. I would recommend doing them along with me. And so, um, you know, to find the area of this whole thing, we would first find the area of the triangle, then find the area of the rectangle, add those areas together, and that would get us our area of this composite figure. So let's see a couple examples. We just have the two examples for this section. And there's some, you know, kind of some funny looking shapes. It's almost like a half an arrow, right? Like if we kind of kept, did it down here, it would look like an arrow. So we got like half of an arrow going on here. And we want to try to uh, find the area of this sucker. And we do have some dimensions around there given. And so the key is to first identify what are the shapes you do see? What in fact do we see here? And so what I see, uh, if I were to continue this drawing, this line down right there, right, I see this triangle. Okay, and then I also see right on the other side and then a rectangle. And so the total area is going to be the area of this rectangle plus the area of this triangle, okay? <clears throat> uh, and so we're gonna have to use a little bit of, you know, problem solving skills, use our brains a little bit here and start thinking about um, certain lengths and pieces that we're missing and so forth. Uh, we're assuming that this, when I drew this down here, that this looks like it's a right angle, right? We're coming down at a right angle into here. So we do have a right triangle here. Um, this whole length was 75, but look up here. We have this is 37.5, which that should tell us then that this piece right here is also 37.5 because what do we know is true for rectangles? We know that the opposite sides are the same. So if that's 37.5, so is this. So those are both 37.5. <clears throat> And then, so what we could do, if we wanted to find this length over here, this little purple bottom of the triangle, uh, we could take 37.5 away from 75, which actually it's it's exactly half, 37.5. So this will be a 37.5 here as well. 37.5, okay. <clears throat> so um, as far as finding our areas, and remember you go back to the rules that we told you guys to use. Like what, what are the you know three things you gotta do? First is identify the shape and the formula that you need. Find any of the missing pieces that you need for the formula and then plug it in and chug away, right? So if we're looking, if we're looking at the rectangle first, the area is what we're trying to find here. Right? find the area of the following figures. So the area of the rectangle is length times width. I'm gonna put a little like rectangle on the, on the area that just to differentiate, we're gonna see A equals something else for the triangle. So to show that we're doing the area of the rectangle, I'm gonna just do that, a little subscript rectangle. So the area of the rectangle is length times width, which the nice thing now is we have those, right? There's your width, there's your length, great. Nice, easy area for this one. 37.5, 22.5, the area of our rectangle is going to be 843.75 square meters. Okay, so there's the area of the rectangle. We're going to need that here in a little bit. Let's look at the triangle though. <clears throat> so for the triangle, we have this side is 37.5. <clears throat> we have this side is 62.5. Um, but remember, the area of a triangle, I'm going to write it a little bit low down here. The area of a triangle is one half times the base times the height. <clears throat> area of a triangle is one half base times height. Uh, and it looks like up here, now remember when you're doing a right triangle, 
the two legs, those really are your base and height, right? So this would be our base, this would be our height, the two legs. Uh, and that's because, again, a height is drawn from a vertex to the opposite side at a right angle. Well, this leg is that. So this is the height here. I'm going to put a little H there. And so we have the base. We've got B. It's the 37.5. What we don't have is H. So this goes back to like what we did the other time where we need to find H. And again, we're focusing on the triangle. We can ignore the rectangle completely right now. We've already found its area. I'm just focused here. It looks like I know two sides of this right triangle. I'm trying to find the third side. The best for that is Pythagorean theorem. So we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to find H. This is almost identical to a problem that we had previously. Okay, so Pythagorean theorem, right? Leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. H squared plus 37.5 squared equals 62.5 squared. Once you've done that, right now we actually do square those two values. 37.5 squared is 1,406.25. And 62.5 squared is 3,906.25. Sorry, I kind of ran into the next problem there, but that's okay. Then we subtract the 1,406, right? And we get h squared is equal to, it actually turns out to be this nice, 2,500. So then we square root. And just like again before in a previous example, different video. And square root of 2,500 is 50. So the height of this triangle is 50 meters. And now, again, go back to our area of a triangle formula. We now know the height, right? We have the base, 37.5. We now have the height. We got the piece we need. We can go ahead and plug them into our formula here. So the area for this triangle, 1 half times the base times the height. <clears throat> so the 37.5 times 50, then divided by 2, is going to get us an area of the triangle for 937.5 square meters. Now... We're not done, right? The total area of this figure is what we wanted. So, oh, I guess, yeah, well, we're good, okay, you can see it. Uh, so there's our area of the triangle. So if we're talking about total area, so our total area is gonna be the area of the, oops, area of the rectangle plus the area of the triangle. And then you're just gonna add up the two areas. Okay, so area of the rectangle is the 843.75, area of the triangle 937.5. And so our total area, add those, adding those up, right? 1,781.25. Square meters, and that is our area of that large composite figure. Okay, uh, so not too bad there. Uh, again, th this the rectangle is nice and easy. The triangle on its own is identical to a problem we did in a previous time, uh, and so really it's just finding those individual areas, combining them, pretty basic. Now, example two. This one I like because there's a couple ways to approach this, and some people see it differently. And it depends on how you see it. What you could see is that you've got two trapezoids here. This trapezoid on the, the left, that trapezoid on the right. All right, if I maybe kind of ignore that side for a second. All right, that's a trapezoid. I've got two parallel sides and then two non-parallel sides. Trapezoid. And it's identical over here. Okay, so you could do two areas of trapezoids, add them up. Or what you could do too, and how I see this and how I'm gonna do it, because I think it's fun, it's different. Um, I'm gonna connect this little piece up here. Okay, because what I see is a rectangle where I've taken away this little triangle. 
up top. I don't know if you see it that way, but I see a full rectangle with a triangle subtracted. And so that's the approach I'm gonna take. I'm gonna find the area of this triangle and subtract it from the area of the rectangle. So sometimes subtraction is a great way to go. We could do addition, like I said, with the two trapezoids, but I kinda of wanna show you a, a subtraction example. And so what we need for the area of the triangle, the rectangle is easy, right? We've got the, the width, we've got the length. Area of the rectangle is nice and easy. Um, it's this triangle that's gonna give us a little bit more trouble, but it's actually not too bad either, right? If we're gonna find the height of this big triangle. Well, if this is 12 here, but 18 there, that's just a difference of six. This has gotta be six centimeters, right? And it's 36 across the bottom, so it's gotta be 36 across the top as well. So actually, we do have all the information we need. Nothing new to be found, because we've got what we need for our formulas. So again, if we find the area of the rectangle, That's going to be the length times the width, which we have the 18 and the 36, right? So 36 is length times width of 18. <clears throat> All right, so 36 times 18 is, oh, and let me get my calculator here. Six hundred forty-eight. Uh, this would be square centimeters. Okay, so there's the area for the rectangle. The area for the triangle uh, area of a triangle, the formula again, one half base times height. And for that triangle, the base is 36 and the height is six. Thirty-six times six divided by two is one hundred and eight square centimeters. So my total area my big capital A, that's gonna be the area of the rectangle. Now this is where it's a little different. Area of the rectangle minus the area of the triangle. Oops, I guess you can see what I'm doing. There it is. So, again, area of rectangle taking out that triangle. So it's a subtraction of areas this time. So our area of the rectangle is 648. I'm going to subtract out the 108 for the triangle for a total area of 540 square centimeters. Okay. And that'll do it for us today. So I hope that made sense. Again, you could have done addition, and Miss Ladwig did in her video. So if you can get a hold of that from somebody you know in Miss Ladwig's class, she did it where you add the two trapezoids. Great, that's awesome. I wanted to show you a subtraction possibility because we did addition here and subtraction here. Sometimes there's better ways to go. All right, guys, have a good one.